Now, jumping right into this photo right here, you, you can see it's more of a very relaxed photograph. Um, you can see that the lighting situation in, in terms of the sun is off to the side of the camera and off to the side of the subject. Um, and, and we can see the timing of it is very mid-afternoon, um, 4 to 5 p.m. And in terms of how the lighting is soft and, and, and gradient and it's not harsh, it's not overexposed like a midday or even mid-morning. Uh, would be so it's it is like I said it's relaxed um, the timing again in terms of how it looks and the age of the photo I'm gonna say it's some 1920s mid 1920s um, you can see the the dots represented from the the old and the quality of the photo how it was scanned in and, and it has last over time and you can see some fading off to the sides um, but you can also see if you zoom into the person, how how he, this guy is dressed, um, and and you know it's very uh, formal. There, there's not really a lot of uh, skin showing, um, and it seems this is more of like a, a desert landscape. Uh, you think it'd be very warm and hot, and and it's more of this it seems like this area that this canal that has nice soft warm winds. So the way he's dressed is is definitely different for um, the timing. <clears throat> now. The focus in this photograph is, is very sharp, as I just showed earlier, zooming way into the photo, it, especially for the scan, it, it's it's very sharp. You can see every little detail. You can see the piece of wood he's holding. You can see his clothes. You can see um, even the, the the sand and the rocks. And, and, um, there's also this uh, sort of high dynamic range um, and, and color and depth to this photo. Um, you can see even though it is in a shady area, you can see um, the the lines and the carvings of how the water carved through the mountains and, and the different uh, crevices and, and everything in, in the hillside. <clears throat> now, the, the photographer used sort of the, I believe in my opinion, this rule of thirds, and you can see how uh, he's off to the, the side, the, the bottom left of the photograph. He's not in the center. Um, he wanted to focus on the relationship between this subject here and the vastness of the mountains right here so it's it's very interesting you can see how um, he's so small off to the corner off to the side and then this huge area right here um, in terms of exposure this is a more of a longer uh, exposure um, you can see how the water is, is softened and um, the it's it's not rippled. It's like someone took a paintbrush to the 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 water, and um, usually that's that's representative of a, a longer exposure photograph. Um, otherwise, if it was a it was a quick take, um, you might see ripples. Um, you might see how the wind carries it, um, as represented by how uh, his boat is there. He would take this and follow the wind and the current. Um, and and the tone and, and color, uh, like I said, it's, it's more relaxed. Um, you can see it's not a traditional uh, black and white, where it's this harsh white, harsh black. It's this lighter brown um, color. Uh, it's hues of brown, hues of dark brown. This this really black is is more of a, a brown color instead of a, a black black. And um, it, it it seems for relaxed for this. It's like this afternoon lighting is perfect, and um, in terms of how the the relationship between this photographer and the subject, it, it doesn't seem that there was, uh, in term when the, as we look at it, um, uh, it can be seen as this moment, perfect moment of time, um, in which it was taken, and so that's that's one of the main points of the, of this photo that that I chose that, that was interesting, and um, you you can see it's very calm, uh, you don't really see clouds, um, it's not overexposed. It's relaxing.